Hello, my name is Matthew Gold. I am a percussionist in the Talia Ensemble and Talia's residency director for our collaboration with the composers of Brown University's graduate program in music composition. This residency was originally scheduled for a year ago, for April 2020, but had to be postponed in the face of the then newly emerging COVID-19 pandemic. In returning to the project a year later, it was necessary to reconceive it for a remote platform. In that these works had been composed for an in-person residency, this meant rethinking nearly every aspect of the process of putting the works together. For the performers, this meant questions of how to learn our parts, how to rehearse, how to coordinate, and how to give a sense of playing as an ensemble, not merely as individuals performing from isolated locations. The composers likewise had to consider these issues and how these were reflected in the notation, in issues of coordination and timing, and in a method for the players to be able to realize the works and each composer's vision. In order to explore these issues, we initiated a series of Zoom conversations, email threads, and other means of communication to explore them, to workshop ideas, and develop strategies for approaching them. This process, I think, was extremely rewarding and really enriched the entire residency project. As we look ahead to performing in person again, which we all deeply desire to happen very soon, I hope that we can bring many of the things that we learn to future projects especially an emphasis on communication and collaboration between composers and performers. As we prepare to hear the work tonight, and we are all very excited for that, I would like to thank everyone at Brown for all the work. I would like to thank Inga Chinidina for putting together the final presentation that you'll hear tonight. And I'd like to thank Wang Lu for leading the Brown composers through this. Thanks so much and enjoy. Hi. I'm Imri Talgam. I play piano and synthesizer on this program. The process of putting together these pieces um, in these unusual circumstances has been kind of interesting in highlighting some of the things we take for granted. For example, when we show up for rehearsals, we are used to you know, being able to just play together and figure out how our part fits into the overall texture and kind of trajectory and hierarchy of, of the piece that we're playing. Uh, in this case, obviously, we're re recording our parts separately, and since these are premieres, we have no idea of what the pieces uh, will really sound like, um, especially in the case of Marcel's piece, where we are all playing in different tempi, and, and so it's a very experimental kind of situation. So I think there's going to be a special kind of delight um, in finding out uh, how these pieces actually sound like when we put them together. Uh, in Marcel's piece, I've been playing um, the synthesizer, which was um, Max Patch. Um, it was very nice to work on it in a highly collaborative ma manner with Marcel. We've changed it several times until we've reached a configuration that was uh, practical and kind of useful for both of us. Um, so let's see where this technologically mediated situation takes us. My name is Marcel Zais. I want to thank Marianne, Leah, Barry, Imri, and Chris from Talia for premiering my new piece. And I also want to thank Wang Lu for setting up this wonderful residency with Talia. It's been amazing to work with them this spring. So this piece is called Passive Method. It is at its core and also conceptually a piece of electronic music. And yet what you will hear now is exclusively a chamber music performance without any electronics, at least at the surface. But the entire rhythmic nature of the piece is derived from algorithms that I have programmed in software and which evolved from the main idea of having each performer play along a metronome that is slightly different from the other players' metronomes. I call these algorithmically generated metronomes also deviant or defiant metronomes because in some way they will always await that which a metronome normally stands for, namely regularity and synchrony. So in this piece, each member of Talia is, pre is performing with the deviant metronome in their ear without ever listening to what the others are doing. The metronome softly speed up and slow down at different times, which leaves me as a listener with a quite distinct idea of togetherness. A togetherness that is precarious and constantly risks collapsing, but at the same time 
also forms a perhaps new way of playing together. Now the title Passive Method is taken from a handbook of civil engineering and it is an existing term that refers to a building technique in civil engineering for houses in permafrost areas where structures are basically carefully put on the ground and between the, the ground and the structure there's also a thick insulation layer. This method is used to prevent the ground from defrosting and so the ground is left untouched, is left unheard. Now in this musical work, it is as if the five voices were set atop each other, each of them being ephemeral in a way that each voice could disappear at any moment without leaving any traces. And most of all, there is a sense of lack of contact between these voices. So like the building that is set on permafrost, without hurting the ground, these voices try to exist without disturbing the underlying, perhaps frozen, ground. With this, enjoy Talia in Passive Method. Thank you. 
Hi, I'm Jake Sokolov Gonzalez. I want to thank Barry, Chris, Leah, Matthew, Victoria, and Lou for all their help bringing this project together. This is Power Structures 2. Enjoy.
Hello, my name is Inga Chinelina. I'm a composer. This piece, as others on the program, was written a year ago, and it's exciting to finally have the premiere, even in this online format. The piece Reflections is written for five different instruments, and all these instruments have their intrinsic qualities. I tried to make instruments to mimic some of each other qualities and create a dialogue between each others. And I'm very thankful for Italian musicians to bring it to life. Hi, my name is Marianne Gipfelt and my instrument is the clarinet and bass clarinet. I've thoroughly enjoyed working with you all on your compositions for the Brown Residency and uh, the process was really thought out. The Zoom sessions were informative and fun. It was nice to meet you all in virtual person. Um, and everyone was so responsive to our questions and ideas. So it was great to have that, have those sessions before we delve into to working on the, the pieces on our instruments. Um, I enjoyed working on all of the pieces um, because there was such a great variety of, of writing styles. And, um, but in particular, I enjoyed Inga Tinelina's piece because she used a lot of extended techniques and we love that stuff in Talia. And uh, sh you used them very effectively and um, uh, you found great fingerings for me to use. So I appreciated that. Um, one thing that was a little challenging was to figure out how to record ourselves. And as you can see, I have my, my buddy back here and he would come into the room sometimes and make some sounds because he was getting hungry, but um, he's behaving himself now watching the birds. But uh, there are a lot of other noises in our environment like, like uh, noisy heaters and things like that. Uh, but it worked out in the end and you guys were super great about like uh, figuring out how to do some noise canceling on your end. So I appreciate that. So I can't wait to hear and see the results of all of this work and good job everybody.
Hi there, I'm Barry Crawford and I play the flute in the Chali Ensemble. I feel so fortunate that even during this time we're still able to do what we love, which is work with composers and help bring their works to life. And I had a wonderful time recording all these works. The next piece you're going to hear by Amber is Sometimes I Forget to Breathe. I think we can all relate to that title, especially after this year. Sometimes we do forget to breathe. Um, I had a great time recording this part. Uh, it's from my favorite instrument, the alto flute. Um, and there's some great extended techniques you'll hear from the alto flute whistle tones, lip pizzicato, and some speaking. And I'm very much looking forward to hearing it with you all. Hi everyone, my name is Amber Vistein and I composed the piece Sometimes I Forget to Breathe for alto flute, clarinet, doubling bass clarinet, and cello. Um, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Barry, Marianne, and Chris who played this piece phenomenally. It's been amazing to have Talia in residence, virtually in residence at Brown this semester, and thank you so much. Um, a little bit about the piece. It's structured kind of like a breathing exercise. Um, I wrote it at a time when things were really hectic in my academic life, and it was almost like a way to take a break from writing music by writing other music. Uh, so the opening section is a little more active. For me, it's like there's kind of three things going on that you're trying to do at the same time as the vibe it's trying to capture. Uh, in the subsequent sections, things slow down and open up a little bit um, to try to have a space to catch one's breath. So I hope you have a moment to do that while you're listening to this piece. Uh, there's no video, but I invite you to listen with your eyes closed. Thank you.
Asher and I play violin. It was a real pleasure to get to know all of the pieces on this concert. I found that each of the four composers that I work with had a really unique voice and I really enjoyed talking to them about their work. Um, Christina Warren's piece, The Ceaseless Onset, is one of those that really mix, makes you miss playing together with people in person. Uh, it has these sort of accelerations and decelerations that normally in person you would be able to have a little bit more of an improvised feel and so we had to unify those with a click track and I really look forward to seeing how it all came together. Hey, I'm Christina Warren. My piece, The Ceaseless Onset for Clarinet Quartet, is all about the quarter note, seemingly a basic musical fundament, but it actually gives us a lot of information about ensemble and cohesion. You'll hear the players gradually pulling apart and coming back together rhythmically, and all the nuances in between. I originally composed this piece as a piano quartet to be premiered at the Bennington College Chamber Music Conference in 2019, where amateur instrumentalists gather to work on mostly classical repertoire and some new music. I created this clarinet quartet version specifically for Talia. I'd like to express my heartfelt gratitude to Marianne, Leah, Chris, and Imri for their exquisite interpretation and for connecting the dots of this piece despite being remote. Thanks also to Professor Wong Lu for coordinating their residency at Brown and to Inga Chinalina for technical support for this concert. I hope you enjoy.
Thank you. 